Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are diving into the world of vector art shading in Adobe Illustrator. If you have ever wondered how to bring depth and dimension to your flat illustrations, you are in the right place. Imagine transforming your flat lifeless artwork into a dynamic piece that pops off the screen. In this tutorial, we will reveal the secrets to achieving stunning shading effects that will elevate your vector artwork to the next level. Let's get into it. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's quickly go over the essential tools we will be using to shade and add depth to our vector art. And the first one is the selection tool, which allows you to select and manipulate objects in your artwork. It's crucial for selecting the specific parts of your design that you want to shade, move or modify, ensuring precision in your artwork. And the second one is the direct selection tool. This tool enables you to select and edit individual anchor points or path segments within an object. It is essential for fine-tuning the details of your shading, allowing you to adjust the shape and position of your shadows and highlights with great precision. And the third one is the pencil tool. The pencil tool lets you draw preform paths that can be edited and adjusted. It's perfect for sketching out initial shading lines and creating custom shapes that add unique shadows and highlights to your artwork. And the fourth one is the fill tool. The fill tool fills selected shapes with color. It is essential for applying base colors and adding layers of shading to your design. By using different shades and tints, you can create a sense of depth in your vector art. These tools will be your best friends as we go through the steps to enhance your flat vector illustrations. Now let's jump into the tutorial and start shading. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a new layer on top of the base color layer here. So we are going to create a new layer here, which is going to be shadow layer. So grab the eyedropper tool and sample the skin tone of the base color like this. And when you click on the base color like this, you'll see the tip of the eyedropper tool become black. That means it has picked the color and that color is going to be on the fill tool here. You can double click on the fill tool to make it darker. So this is going to indicate the shadow, not brighter like the one we have on the base color here. If you want to copy my colors, you can see them here and click OK. So before you shade now, maybe you don't have an idea where the shadows are. Let me bring back the photo layer so you can see now we can hide the base color layer here. Let me bring back the opacity of this photo here. I reduced it when I was drawing the line art. Okay, so now if you look at this photo guys, you can see this is the shadow that is cast by the cup here on Banner Boy's face. You can see here this line and you can see the shadows beneath the eyes here on this side. You can see and if you want to also see the highlights and for the highlights, they are the bright patches of light you see on the face that are cast on his face by the environment or maybe by the cameras. Now that you know the difference between the shadows and highlights, let's continue. And for us to now draw, we are going to use the pencil tool here. Let's toggle on the visibility of the photo layer so we can draw on the photo layer directly where we see the shadows. So we'll start with the shadows on the eyes here. Let's see how it looks. Nice. You can see the shadows. I want to make these shadows more darker. So the updated one is this one. Like this is good. We toggle off the visibility of the base color layer and continue drawing where we see the shadows on the photo directly. Let's draw these ones on top here. Then we can select the shadow color here. Nice. Let's draw the shadows on this side of the nose. Like this. Sometimes these stroke lines, they guide us when we are shading. Let 
this is nice let's bring back the base color layer and see how our shadows look this is nice you can turn it off again and continue drawing on the photo layer we have some here we have uh, beneath the nose here around here This is nice. We can also draw the shadows for the cup. Select the eyedropper tool and sample the color for the cup like this and you'll see it here on the fill tool. Double click on it and we make it a little bit darker down here. Click OK and the same way we did with the shadows on the face, we select the pencil tool and we draw. Turn off the base color layer and let's draw the shadows on the cup. They are here. nice let's bring back the photo layer and we see how the shadows look i want to make these shadows a little bit darker here by dragging this slider down this is nice This is nice. You will also do the same with the hearing here. This is nice. So now we are going to create another layer on top of the shadow layer here and we are going to call this one highlights and this is where we are going to be shading the highlights this is how you arrange your layers guys you place your shadow over the base color and you also place the highlights layer on top of the shadow layer like this and now the same process we are going to sample the base color skin tone using the eyedropper tool like this then come to fill tool double click on it instead of dragging it down to make it darker we are going to make it a little bit brighter you can copy the color code here if you want to click ok and then now grab your pencil tool and turn on the photo layer and also toggle the visibility off of the base color so we can draw directly on the photo layer where we see the highlights on the face so we can draw these are the highlights We can select the highlight color here. Let's bring back the base color layer and see. Nice. Let's reduce the brightness a little bit around here. This one is good. Turn off the base color layer and continue drawing. Okay. We have some here. We have on the eye here.
we have some on the heels and uh, on the chin here near the beard's position okay we have here on the heels around here So we are going to color the heart the same way. We sample the heart color using the using the eyedropper tool like this. Double click on the fill tool to make it brighter. We drag it up here. And then with the pencil tool, we turn off the base color layer and bring back the photo layer. Then we can draw the highlights are here. They are not too much, but they are few. here we also have here let's see this is nice so we're also going to shade the lips the same way but we are going to create a new layer for the lips I don't want to mix things up here that's why it's always good to do some things in separate layers so it can be easy for you to go there and make some corrections if you feel like you've made some mistake somewhere so sample the upper lip skin tone with the eyedropper tool like this then you can pick a darker shadow skin tone here using the color picker click ok turn off the base color layer and bring back the photo layer so we can see the shadows the shadows are here here under the lips you can see so we'll draw them let's see nice we can do the same here with the lower lip this is nice highlights on the lips we'll do the same thing we did in the highlights layer This is nice guys. This is how you add shadows and highlights to your flat vector artwork in Adobe Illustrator using just your computer mouse. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to draw hyper realistic vector hair. I'm going to make these guys beards look like real beards guys and you'll be amazed. So stay on the lookout for that tutorial. And if you still have issues with shading in Adobe Illustrator, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below so I can address your issues in the upcoming tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video.